James Friars. The James boy arrived in the Europa for his way in and confident mood. An eliminator for the British title means pressure and a step up in class. Maxi Hughes is the opponent on the McLean sponsored bill. Hughes ranks seventh in Europe. Cannot be taken for granted, but Friar says he will have enough to take the next vital step. I'm very confident, yeah. I don't want to be, um, I like to be humble and I don't like being overconfident, but I'm feeling very confident in this fight and I'm 100% positive I'll get a victory. It's a good fight, you know, on paper it is a 50 50 fight, but um, my experience and the team I've got around me. Um, I know I'm here and I, I'm, I'm confident I'm going to be winning tomorrow night. Belfast has a history of top class fights. We're all well used to the likes of the brilliant Carl Frampton. But how does this show rate? Here's two time former British champion Hugh Russell. The big thing about it is it's actually for something. These two kids are both going into the ring with good records and uh, they both want to come out with the, the win that will get them guaranteed a British title fight, which would be a big step up both their careers. Another man who's been following the fortunes of Friars is New Center boxing correspondent Nicky Fullerton. He's impressed. The thing I like about him the most is he thinks his way through a fight. He can change what he's doing. He thinks about what the opponent's doing and he can counter that as well. So I like the way he thinks his way through the fight. He's a very clever boxer. He's also very technically gifted as well. He's also very good defensively. And it seems in his last few fights, he's also got a bit of a dig as well, which will help in the long run. Of course, events like these just don't happen. Title sponsor is McLean's Bookmakers, a company well used to supporting the noble art. It's back to the good old days of boxing. I was involved, as you were, whenever uh, Barney Eastwood used to run all the shows in Belfast. And it was great atmosphere, and hopefully we can get back to that level. It's a mixture of foreign and top-class boxers on offer at the Europa. And for that, promoter Mark Dunlop deserves huge praise. Listen, let me tell you, James Fryer was unbeaten in the amateurs for five years. He won seven All-Ireland titles as an amateur, three Ulster Elite, and he retired from the amateur boxing at 19. Now, that says it all. The calibre of all these lads on show tonight are phenomenal. Believe me, they've done more than most famous pros that's ever come out of this province. So, you know, Fryers can go all the way. And I wouldn't, like, everyone, my old saying is I don't take fights, I can't win. And uh, I believe like Farage will show his class tomorrow night, fingers crossed. We we a bit disappointed in them we wait. I was hoping to be just underneath nine four. I was raising three and nine two, but again I made the weight comfortable enough. Uh every time weigh in comes, everyone's half asleep, half dreading it. I came in feeling if I had one good size meal and some fluids I could fight today. That's how I fresh I'm feeling, how great I'm feeling. So my confidence is sky high through the roof. So everything is set. Paul Highland Jr. is on the bill. So too James Tennyson, Tyson McCullough and Fergal McCrory from Cal Island. It's five-star entertainment and so much at stake. The Belfast fans, they will love it. Do you want to bet who's going to win it? Uh, it's close, but I think I'll be f I will be fancy Mr. Friars.